Greetings, galactic rainbow tribe of the star collective nation. Waking up, rising up. We had another full day today of many downloads, activations, upgrades, codes flowing into our awareness, into our vessel all day today. So I'm going to do my best here at the beginning of this to transmit as much as I can, as much as I'm able to earlier today. I took a bunch of notes and, of course, forgot it at my office. So we'll see what we can do here. We are all doing our best. So immediately, this morning upon awakening, my consciousness connected deeply with the two comets that are coming in, that are connecting, uniting, reuniting tomorrow, or today, or yesterday, or a week ago, a month ago, depending on when you're listening to this. But it will be on 5 2020 which is the 2222 portal when Comet Atlas and Comet Swan converge, merge together from our perspective. And for right now, we put everything else aside. And what is important is the human perspective now. So these two come together from our vantage point, from our awareness. We are the witness to this reunion, this reconnection of divine feminine, divine masculine, and the celestial realms in the heavens, which is connected to the physical or to the earth realm of the eagle flying with the condor. So as I connected with these two comets, with my pure awareness, with my intent, I connected to many of the divine masculine and divine feminine of this timeline that came from the past, teacher's guides, master's shining lights, and with the atlas energy, I was immediately connected to the consciousness, to the spirit of JFK, and then King Arthur, and then Yeshua Christos, who we call Jesus, or on the Merkaba ship, or the mothership of Yaras Alem, or Yarusalem, or Jerusalem. But in the higher energies, we say Yarusalem, or New Yarusalem. So the connection of JFK through the Atlas energy, divine masculine, and then with the divine feminine through the Atlas swan was the connection to Princess Diana, or Diana, Princess Diana, which was also a mirror of Guinevere. So we had JFK and Princess Diana, Guinevere and King Arthur. We had Yeshua Christos and Mary Magdalene. So you can connect with those energies if you let go, remove all distractions, get into the awareness of your vessel. When you connect with these two comets that are coming together and the energy of Princess Diana or Diana and JFK, you'll get activations. Or you'll connect heart to heart with these divine beings that are mirror of the yin-yang energies within yourself, within your consciousness. This might be a longer transmission recording, so the editing might not be as good. We only have so much time in the day for these things, so I'll do my best, because so much energy is coming in, so much information, so many transmissions. We have a lot to cover today in today's transmissions, so bear with me and keep your awareness in your heart center, because this is very powerful energy which I'm transmitting from my heart through the voice, through the throat chakra, and through awareness, with as much coherence and cohesiveness and entrainment with these divine energies that are activating us all. And way shower that is listening now, know that these codes and energies and downloads that are coming through your awareness from the higher realms, the higher dimensions, directly from Creator Source, directly from the central sun and through these energies and through the voice of divine virtue, the energy that comes through these codes, the information that is transmitted through your awareness, through your ears, through your eyes, through the eyes of the spirit. Each one of us, every one of you that are listening now, are anchoring in these codes into the grid, into the singularity, the crystalline core of Pachamama, Nova Gaia. With these ascending energies, we're each individually and as a collective assisting 
this great awakening, this rising up, this great ascension. So some of these codes and downloads and activations as they come down through your crown from heaven, through the center of the brain, we call the crystal palace or upper dantian, down through the central channel, we call the katika channel, through the heart center, the middle dantian, and down through lower dantian, solar plexus, into the sacral, into the root, and then down through the legs and out the portals of the feet into the depths, the deepest parts of Mother Earth. And as these energies and codes and informations spiral down through your vessel, the rainbow bridge, they build momentum and speed to be able to penetrate all the way into the crystalline core, the singularity, and this comes through the singularity within you, the center of everything. The zero point is what they call singularity in science. And all points of infinite density are connected throughout the whole universe. This is how many star nations travel all over the universe. And if you want to learn more about this concept and how this works, I recommend one of the greatest physicists and quantum physicists, Nassim Haramein. And that's, I believe, spelled N-A-S-S-I-M-H-A-R-A-M-E-I-N, something close to that. It'll correct it if that's off. He has hours of lectures on YouTube. There's one in particular that's about four hours long, I recommend. And he shows that he has footage of a mothership coming out of the sun. I believe it's about... 18.1 longitude or latitude out of the sun. It's where there's a portal, and the same portal is on the earth. And he shows, he has footage of a ship, mothership, the size of the earth, coming out of this portal through the singularity of the sun. And then he also talks about the singularity to the sun is also connected to the singularity of the earth and all stars throughout the whole universe, all the way to the central sun. And we could travel through these portals ourselves, through astral projection, through our singularity and zero point. And many of these ships that people witness, how do they get out of and into the singularity of the earth at the center? They use volcanoes many times. That's why people see ships flying in and out of volcanoes. They can penetrate down through the magma and through the layers of the earth to get to the singularity, and then they can project, connect to any point in the whole universe. So as we take in these energies, these codes, these upgrades, downloads, however you want to look at it, the information, the gnosis, the knowledge, we send that automatically. We don't even have to think about it. This is all a natural evolution, a natural activation. Our bodies are like tuning forks, and they resonate at these higher frequencies, these higher codes. And each one of us are adding our spin or our perception to these energies and projecting into the earth. And these are stored in the singularity. A singularity, that zero point, can hold and contain infinite information. And then in the process, this information projected back out to the ends of the universe. It's like a feedback loop. We're all contributing to the building of these energies, the gathering of these codes. It's almost like a repository or a hard drive that stores information. All this information is stored within your vessel, in your DNA, right now through the 64 code until we quantum leap into the code of 144. So each one of our roles, especially you that's listening now, are vital and important for this transmutation, this transformation, or in a sense, upgrade, up-leveling. Many people are seeing it from 3D to 5D. It's a merging of worlds and potentials. And through this process, we're also transforming and healing the virus that infected La Matrica, the Divine Waters, the Garden of Eden, Valhalla, the Pure Land. And this virus is just another name for ignorance or deception, to ignore our true self, our higher self, the higher aspects of our divinity, but it is also believing in the lie and deception of separation, of fear, of negative emotions, 
of negative projections, what in Zen Buddhism we call the three hells, the angry demon, the frightened animal, and the hungry ghost, pure awareness of the Buddha mind that is perfectly awake, perfectly aware, divinely enlightened, that pure awareness is converted into the false self, which is basically negative emotions, negative thoughts, negative feelings, all for an experience and an experiment, what it felt like to be separate, what it felt like to be alone, the experience of loneliness, the experience of suffering, is all part of the expansion, the learning, the experimenting. And we all know now, all star blossoms, that we have suffered enough. So through this gnosis, the knowledge of the great suffering of all sentient beings, we returned to this realm one last time for this great event, this great awakening, to heal the virus of ignorance through enlightenment, shining light into the dark, exposing everything that was hidden, the revelation, all things being revealed, the apocalypse, the unveiling of that which is hidden, the occult, through knowledge, through lessons, and through teaching these sacred arts, and through the humility and the humbleness of a simple monk, a simple man, I do hope I have served you all well. Aho! We will start today's first transmission from Sister of the Light, Anna Merkaba, May 22nd, Seven Day Bridge Portal, Orafim and Auroras. Greetings, my beloved masters of the universe. On May 22nd, for seven days, a very powerful seven day bridge portal is opening. I have received a fascinating channeling from the Auroras and the Orafims. They explain what has been happening and the reason for such a tremendous departure of souls from earth at this time. What is to come and what we are going to experience in the next seven days and beyond. 919 coming through. The 919 code contains the 19, the mirror 91, and the 99. All powerful codes. The seven day bridge is opening for you now that shall illuminate the path for all who have found themselves a bit askew due to recent events that have flooded our planet, events that have stirred the memories of the past and have brought into light that which no longer belongs on your shores, for the happenings of your now moment have been set in motion by none other than your own higher selves in order to coherently demonstrate to all witnessing said experiences the true reality of being. And so the next seven days of your earthly time shall allow many of you to bridge the gap in your lives, to fully immerse yourselves into a world of Akash, and withdraw the necessary information which shall propel you to the next octave of being, the next octave of your extraordinary journeys on this planet. For you who hold the light within have done a phenomenal job over the last few months of your earthly time, and are applauded for a job well done in keeping the stability and rising of frequencies amid the chaos unfolding in your physical realities. Many of you have found yourselves to be in a state of hibernation, which has created a vortex of benevolent co-creation, and has created through said vortex a tunnel to allow souls who have adhered to the principles of being to pass through into another dimension. Souls who have decided to pass through into another dimension through the tunnel vortex that you have built with your vibrations, said souls have been given a ticket to the eternal void from which they shall rebirth and rise anew and be brought to light and flourish, remembering all of their passage on human earth and recognizing that which they have forgotten on their journey on this planet, a new journey shall be laid out before them. What we are trying to say to you, dearly beloved masters of the universe, is that those souls who have departed your earthly shores have chosen to bring about such circumstances in order to leave en masse together and take advantage of the portal that has opened up for you on January 12th of 2020. The portal is still open, and anyone who wishes to bypass the ring pass 
now has an opportunity to do so by leaving the human physical experience and joining the ranks of those who have fully completed their earthly human evolutionary cycle. And so and thus, albeit the turbulence and the sorrow that many are experiencing on your planet, the tears shed should be tears of joy for the beloved ones that have been granted an opportunity to depart the karmic wheel of life and forever free themselves from the endless cycle of the veil of forgetfulness. Now for those of you who are fully awake and fully conscious, the portal that has been brought many changes into your lives, changes large and small, changes of which you are still not fully aware of, and with the rising energies on your planet, all the changes shall be clearly showcased to many of you in the mere hours to come. For the portal that we speak of, the portal of the seven-day bridge, is opening for you on May 22nd of your human time in the year of your 2020. Said portal shall be open for seven of your Earth days. Phew! I just got a loud, powerful frequency coming through my right ear and felt it through my neck and my skull vibrating with that seven energy the seven colors of the electromagnetic spectrum the seven seas the seven days of the week so seven of your earth days and each day you, you shall be bathed in the ever-loving energies of the creator and your creator selves and so and thus on the day of your 22nd of may you shall find yourselves being pulled into the void of your creation from which you shall be able to clearly see the path before you and from where you shall be able to make the necessary arrangements that shall affect many on your planes of existence, the necessary arrangements for the coming of times. At the same time, you shall receive a blueprint that shall explain to you in detail all that you are to do in the months leading up to the grand event that shall play out in your skies in December of 2020. During said time frame, many of you shall be able to manifest your desires and change your lives completely, for you shall be granted a key to the universe, a key to the universal codices from which you shall be able to extract the necessary timetables, frequencies, tones, and utilize said keys of ascension to fine-tune your energy bodies in order to prepare your vessels of time and space for a major awakening event that shall change your present reality fully and completely. The inklings of said event are already showcasing itself for all to glimpse the tones of the future, and the outcomes remain twofold. And hence, those of you who are in the positions of power, and when we say power, what we mean is the power of inner knowing, the universal power, those who have come onto this planet in order to play pivotal roles in the ascension process shall receive said keys of ascension and be instructed on how to utilize each key in order to shift human conditioning and human consciousness onto the pathway that adheres to the principles of being, the universal principles of love, harmony, and peace, the universal feminine energies that shall flood your planet in the days, weeks, and months to come. And so, our dearly beloved masters of the universe, much work lays ahead of you now, and your time of hibernation is over. Beginning from your May of 22nd of 2020, you shall be tuned on and shall find yourselves being fully and completely attuned to the happenings of the universe. Be prepared to experience sensations unbeknownst to you prior and be awed at the discoveries of your scientists and enthralled by the presence that you shall feel upon your every waking hour. The presence which shall ignite the passion within you to become the ones that you all have been waiting for. This we say unto you, the auroras of your chosen momentum, the auroras, the orophemes, as we stand with you. Your human experiences shall never be the same, for the energies on your planet have shifted, and a new era has begun. The next seven days of your earthly time you shall see glimpses of light. Each day you shall experience a new color of light that you shall find in your skies, in your side vision, in your meditations. The number sequences shall increase, and your dreams shall be ever so vivid. And you might have felt I'm getting an activation in my crown and feeling chills through my arms and legs. 
and go into that meditation now. Whatever you're feeling in your body, let that carry you to your heart center and let go into whatever energies that's activating. The whole top of my skull is tingling and pulsing. And sometimes when the chi builds, you might itch on certain acupuncture points. You know, either let it go or just rub it, rub that point, and then pull it off of your body, throw it into the air, into the ethers. The great spirit will carry that to the central sun. The number sequences shall increase and your dreams shall be ever so vivid. I think I just repeat, <laughs> repeated myself. That's okay, I'm going to go on because the energy just keeps building. Those who have departed shall be clearly seen in your visions as if you are standing with them face to face. Distortions of your present moment, time gaps, loss of time, days, weeks, months shall be vague for you now, and the moment of now shall be prominent. The past and the future shall no longer interest you, for most important aspects of your reality shall exist in the now. Time and space continuum is shrinking and expanding exponentially, all at the same time, and your planet is experiencing a new vibratory circuits which allows for parallel universes and galaxies to intertwine and overlap with your own, giving an opportunity both to you and your human form and to those who exist in your galaxy and other galaxies to be able to jump through the octaves of being and easily find their way into your realities and hence the psychic experience, as you call it, shall increase trifold for you now and your healing abilities shall rise and your sphere of influence shall increase, spanning out 23 miles in every direction and hence the assistance benevolence, eternal, unconditional understanding and love that you have all been lacking is going to shower upon you, charging your internal batteries and once again preparing you for the events of your December of 2020. That is all we have for you now. We love you. We are with you. Goodbye for now. From Anna Merkaba, sacredascensionmerkaba.com couple things I failed to mention, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this transmission, I usually cover what's going on in the Schumann Resonance. Today we had a power of 5, 5D with the 50 hertz amplitude, higher resonance in the Schumann charts. Also, in the last 24 hours, we had 345 earthquakes, magnitude 1.5 or greater. Again today, the whole ring of fire was lit up. We had a 4.1 in southern Chile in the Andes Mountains. Puerto Rico had multiple earthquakes again today with the Atlantean energy. Then we had in Oaxaca, Mexico, 4.9, southern Mexico. And then again all day in Tonopah, Nevada, multiple earthquakes. The whole ring of fire lit up again today. Also the heart of Lemuria in... Pahala, Hawaii, 3.8. The most interesting one, and that was resonating deep within my heart, you know, with the green energy, 5.2, 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers depth, was in the heart of the Congo, where our brothers and sisters of the Gorilla Nation reside, these powerful, beautiful creatures of the light, as they're anchoring in the codes. And this is like the sacral solar plexus of africa i love you africa we love all nations of pachamama but my heart goes deep into the soils into the earth and these most sacred portals of great beauty in africa and what was interesting and important was this grid this activation was directly south of the portals in Greece, which were activated again today and rose up 4.7 in Crete again, Greece, all week for the last seven days. Greece has been receiving these activations and upgrades, which now connected into Africa and to the Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is very sacred land, which is in between Angola, Tanzania, and just north of Zambia, very sacred land. And then also with our Mayan energy in Guatemala, 
4.2, and right in the heart of China, our sacred land. In Xunjiang, Sichuan, China, 4.6 magnitude. It's one after another again today with these activations and upgrades. Loving New Mexico. We are loving New Mexico. The Southwest, the whole beloved nation. Loving Me New Mexico, 3.0, then 3.3 in Puerto Rico. Then again in Chile, 4.8, the sacred Andes Mountains. And the last two, uh, and two hours ago, 5.3 which was the most powerful earthquake in the last 24 hours, Tonopah, Nevada, which these energies are healing the dark magic from Las Vegas and Area 51. All these energies of many, many years of trauma and suffering that came out of the actions of the mafias of the world that were using those portals for their negative practices. We're healing and resolving every one of these portals on the earth, all the sacred land, all the sacred sites are being activated, healed, transformed, and transmuted to assist Gaia and all sentient beings of pure consciousness in this realm and all realms, all timelines, all dimensions through the here and now of this great ascension. And at 4.44 p.m. today, Received a message from Hilda Vanderlaan, May 21. Happy Ascension Day. Raise your vibration and therefore Mother Earth, humanity is on top of the Pyramid of Light 1. Today is Ascension Day in the Christian traditions. And then another synchronicity from Rick Jewers after reporting yesterday from Divine Sister Victoria Lillianquest with her connection to the prophet Ezekiel. Rick Jewer's transmission today. The name Ezekiel means God strengthens. We are of God. We all strengthen. The symbolic arrival occurred here in Luxor, Egypt, several days ago when I posted the live of the huge, intense, orange-pink plasma sandstorm that came from the north. Fem has some pictures I will include, as well as an excerpt from Ezekiel. As we watched yesterday, as two pigeons here tapped each other with their wings, as is written in the biblical excerpt below from Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel. I looked and I saw a windstorm coming out of the north, an immense cloud with flashing lightning and surrounded by brilliant light. The center of the fire looked like glowing metal, and in the fire was what looked like four living creatures. In appearance their form was human, but each of them had four faces and four wings. Their legs were straight, their feet were like those of a calf and gleamed like burnished bronze. Under their wings on their four sides they had human hands, all four of them had faces and wings. And the wings of one touched the wings of another, each one went straight ahead. They did not turn as they moved. And this sounds like a manifestation from the star nations, which many of you are experiencing now. And the image in today's video, as you can see, is very powerful from Suzanne Amara. There's codes and activations within the image, so you can meditate on that as you're listening to this or any time. So the Next transmission from Suzanne Amara. Anchoring light into the seeding point of the heart, the anchor point for multidimensional consciousness to arise, the diamond light anchoring and stabilizing core, source frequencies through the light body, the kaleidoscope light frequencies of plasmic rainbow light and sound, celebrating life, dancing, and weaving the sacred sounds of creation, there are 13 rays of light, 7 plasma bursts, one in each corner of the diamond, which is an octahedron, and one emanating from each apex. Imagine the center is three-dimensional and the rays and like rays of the sun emanating into the ether, or the ethers. At the center, the Holy Spirit, or pure state of being, what dreams come, what magic flies in on the wind. Our rainbow cosmic weave funnels from the space of diamond heart. Today from Elizabeth, Peru. The Venus retrograde and new moon 
Have you noticed how self-reflective you've just become? Is there a part of you that wants to rewrite and fine-tune just how valuable, worthy, and loving you are? The Venus retrograde, which has been in effect for just over one week, is already creating healthier and more whole humans. Add to this the new moon in just over 24 hours, and you could be going in deep. You see, the cosmos is calling her children of the light to set higher standards for themselves. Will you? From ElizabethPeru.com And from Swan Hummingbird Today, tonight, smooth energy. Because Team Light, behind the veil, did light repairs to the planetary grid. After the mess that the darks created yesterday, we should be feeling much calmer and better today. Yes, the darks on the planet are removed in phases or sections by Team Light at regular intervals of time. When it feels ridiculous with attack on any given day, it means they are being escorted out on that particular day, and they are kicking up a storm as they leave. It tends to feel crazy-making. Recognize that it's not you. It does put lower energies in our fields as they leave, so it's not your fault if you couldn't get things done or couldn't even get out of bed. Self-forgiveness. Recenter in the light now. Being on the front line means you are a warrior. Please be proud of yourself no matter what your life looks like. We are in transitional times, hence be self-forgiving. Lots and lots of love. And from the Gene Keys Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA by Richard Rudd from May 21st through May 26, 2020, Gene Key 20, The Sacred Ohm, Superficiality, Self-Assurance, and Presence. As you learn the art of contemplation, you will even find that your thinking itself begins to pause as little spaces begin to open about between your thoughts. A clear mind repels both doubt and confusion. Contemplative practice over time will open up new, narrow pathways in your brain that bridge both left and right hemispheres. This means that whenever you experience an insight, you will see a vast web of interconnections, and you will sense the correct harmonic arrangement of those patterns. This new gift of understanding can then be applied to any field, from business to education to the arts. You will find that you can greatly increase the effectiveness of any system or method, from writing to doing the washing up, or from parenting to running a business, from the art of contemplation. And from the Yi Ching, Code 20, Contemplation, Gentle wind blows across the earth. Listening to the whispering wind, respond to life with complete trust. Presence is clarity and stillness. Self-assurance is intuitive orientation. Superficiality is unease and dislocation. Intention of receptivity. A worshiper who has purified himself but must still present his sacrifice with a dignified sincerity which inspires reverence. The two trigrams that make up this hexagram are the gentle wind and the earth. So we have to listen to the whispering wind of awareness and let it blow into all corners of our life. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from the genekeys.com. Today, on the 21st, May 21, through June 3rd, 2020, today we enter... The Red Skywalker Wave Spell, Kins 53 through 65, Power of Adventure and Exploration. From Christina Papagiorgio, we have just completed our journey with the yellow sun of enlightenment and Buddhic wisdom, and finally we have arrived as new solar cosmic humans and received our golden crowns as sovereign, independent, divine beings. So now it is time to explore our surroundings and what else is possible for us as divine humans. The wave spell of the Skywalker is seeking to liberate our souls, helping us to expand our consciousness and fueling our planetary ascension process. 
the cycle aligns synchronistically with the eleventh moon in the dream spell calendar, the completion of the spectral serpent month, this month is seeking to release and dissolve all that has kept you contained, and contained we have been like never before, in order to liberate your soul for new adventures. The Skywalker cycle bridges the two months as the twelfth moon, that of the crystal rabbit, commences on May 30th and concludes on June 26, 2020. The crystal rabbit month is about clarity, connection, and fertility, working together to realize your creative pursuits. Ben, the Skywalker, is freeing us from the mundane humdrum and expanding our horizons, sowing the fertile new soil we have discovered in the greener pastures in order to grow our dream life, a beautiful journey of awakening to new possibilities. Today we are granted our golden angelic wings and we take flight to explore the cosmos, discovering our galactic angelic selves. How far can you expand your consciousness this wave spell? Your purpose is to reconnect with your divinity and explore all roads that lead back home through your expanded self. Get ready for the time of your lives. Red Skywalker is a cycle of exploration and awakening through expansion. Now is the time to construct your own personal time machine, wormhole, or stargate to give you access to explore, expand, and navigate through unchartered spaces and territories. Breathe in the air of excitement and adventure. Your new quest beckons you. Red Skywalker, Ben, is the time-space traveler who can jump dimensions to assist you in realizing heaven on earth. So set your intent to bring more bliss into your daily life. Red Skywalker's energy is expansive and totally unlimited in form. Skywalker is the galactic shaman who can travel anywhere through space and time to retrieve wisdom, information, and energy codes, bringing them through as the angelic messenger. A person who embodies cosmic wisdom may be known as a skywalker, sage, or bodhisattva. When others see such light in human form, they feel the vibration of heaven. In the past, this energy was experienced through a guru or master in a chance encounter with an extraordinary person. Now the time has come for you to embody this vibration so that you can become the master once again. Red Skywalker represents balance in your life, not static balance, but a dynamic equilibrium that includes both your present expression and your galactic expanded starseed self. In Red Skywalker's star glyph, you see the pillars of heaven pointing downwards and the pillars of earth pointing upwards, but there is space in between as the pillars do not connect. You are the missing element in between, the human bridge whose expression of the light assists in drawing the pillars of heaven to earth, joining these pillars in yourself can be viewed as reuniting your masculine and feminine aspects, returning to wholeness. Once we find and hold this balance, we create the pillars of the etheric temples of heaven on earth, anchoring the 5D cities of light. Our personal and collective divine mission at this time is purely to act as light holders the divine conduits of light through our physical vessels. The more we have emptied our vessel from toxins, baggage, and debris, the more light we can hold and conduct. Allow the winds of heaven to flow through your rejuvenated human vessel, anchoring your own peace of bliss on earth. Red Skywalker can ignite a deep yearning within you for reunion with Source. From this blissful space of love and compassion, you also have a desire, embodied in physical form, to serve the light. This is the place in you that has the courage to fully express unconditional love from the deepest depths of your being. Red Skywalker asks you to bring this heaven to earth in your daily life. What would that truth look and feel like? Live as though you are already in 5D earth. As this reality is lived, it touches and awakens the same truth in others. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. How can you be the bridge to bringing heaven to earth? This is a great time to have adventures and to look to the places where you need the support to open to new dimensions of being, uncovering the places where lack still lurks on this abundant planet. 
Now is the time to consider whatever brings more soul expansion, exploration of other dimensions and transcendental states through meditation and astral travel that leads one beyond where one's consciousness has resided before. How far can you expand your consciousness, this wave spell? Enjoy the journeys. Warning, anything that has kept you constricted, contained, housebound, and limited your consciousness from full expansion will be revealed and exploded in order for your consciousness to break free and explore new territory as your infinite self, Ben the Skywalker. Divine blessings for your joyful explorations awakening and expansion over this incredible soul enriching wave spell journey on june 4th 2020 we continue our adventure with simi the white world bridger as our guide building the bridge to nova gaia and creating connections and networks with our fellow planetary kin much joy and merriment awaits dear star blossoms Expansion and celebration are the keys to our future in creating heaven on earth. And from the Zolkin Times, Kin 53, read Magnetic Skywalker. The number one is called Magnetic, and its keywords are Unify, Purpose, and Attract. Today is the first day of a new wave spell, the fifth one of the Zolkin. As always, on the first day it is good practice to contemplate the purpose of the next 13 days. What are its energies? How will it end? Are there any notable obstacles en route? Begin this journey with consciousness, and you will get more out of it. Today is Red Skywalker, and key words associated with it are explore, space, and wakefulness. This suggests that today we begin a journey of a more unusual kind, not conventional and perhaps one that may take you out of your comfort zone. Be brave and try new things. The last day of the wave spell is the red cosmic serpent, which is a transformative energy falling on a transcending day. Logically, if you go on an adventure, take this 13-day journey, the final destination is very healing and transformative. The Skywalker asks for you to explore and awaken, and this enables us to shed our old skin and emerge renewed. For a better understanding of any wave spell, look at the connection between the first and the last day, the guide for today is Red Skywalker. Also, this implies that it is your courage and sense of adventure that will lead the way today. And today, from Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Magnetic Skywalker, Kin 53, 21 May 2020, Attracting New Adventures, 21 5 2020, equal 5 22. Equal three five four equal twelve equal three twenty one crown of the magi victory blessings three holy trinity joy creativity communication five freedom liberation change transformation kin fifty three equal eight infinity abundance source flow total expansion another huge powerful Day with triple red skywalker energy kicking off a new 13-day wave spell accessing unlimited cosmic energies and opening the gates to lay the foundations to create heaven on earth day one in the red skywalker wave spell the cycle of exploration and awakening yesterday we were crowned as new solar cosmic humans and received our golden crowns as sovereign, independent beings. Today we are granted our golden angelic wings, and we take flight to explore the cosmos, discovering our galactic angelic selves. Tone of creation, magnetic, is tone number one in the spiritual realm, as we initiate a new wave spell cycle. Power attracts, action unifies, essence purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with the magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one, from out of nothing, here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. Once strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your goals. 
people, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. The attraction seeks to unify all as one. Thus, magnetic kin have a very strong connection to source and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. The power of one is very strong today as it unites us all as one humanity bringing heaven to earth. A day to allow the awakening of our free angelic selves to feel the beauty, harmony, and expansion of space within and surrounding us. Today's question is now that I have embodied more light and accepted my divine sovereignty, how do I expand that into the cosmos? What is my next adventure? Divine blessings for your total expansion into the next levels of our collective awakening as we journey anew through the stellar pathways of the ancients. In Lakek Alakin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 53, Red Magnetic Skywalker, the mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to explore. Attracting wakefulness, I seal the output of space with the magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. 133 flowing in. So remember tomorrow or today, whenever you're listening to this, 522 2020 22 22 portal all day long 24 7 actually 24 7 would be seven days a week but from here on out 24 7 any time any moment of meditation the 22nd is a mass meditation globally throughout this whole realm all light workers star blossoms star seed warriors of the light unite together and unity consciousness through this rising up of energy as we go deeper within into our meditative state and feel the connection doesn't matter where you are or what time connect and feel your connection throughout the whole grid to all light holders warriors of the light connected through the grids through the ley lines through the field of energy we call the ethers or ethers it is the field of chi, energy, that connects within and without, internal, external, uniting the physical with the non-physical through the sacred vessel with the assistance of our awareness, our perception, and our pure consciousness here now. Let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're seeing, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing your visions your dreams your synchronicities thank you everyone for your support for your amazing comments connections your likes and thank you for sharing these videos to get this information out to more consciousness in this realm using this medium of the internet i'd like to also thank everyone for your support on patreon these are building daily this will help raise funds to support my work and the work of prime disclosure and my team and to bring to fruition the healing retreat center in ecuador so i'd like to welcome and thank our newest patrons thank you kenrick victoria joy and sister of the light mary thank you family of the life for your support if you would like to make a pledge of support you can do that at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure and the link is also in the description below the video each pledge brings us closer and closer to this mission of our healing retreat sustainable community a blueprint that our vision showing us in the foothills of the andes mountains and ecuador the sacred portal of south america and the beautiful land of the new eden we're also utilizing the efforts and the opportunity of the cbd business to raise funds and to make it possible to generate abundance for each one of you many people have contacted me over the last year that want to be part of this project of this mission so this will make it possible for more of us to unite together in our efforts to build the foundation this will start with a journey to ecuador 
finding the land. I'm in connection and communication with several light workers there now that are anchoring in the codes. So it'll take about a month or so of journeying through the lands, meeting the peoples of Ecuador, the natives, the light workers that reside in Ecuador and seek out the land. You can learn more about this on primedisclosure.com. Click on Dao de Ecuador at the top of the page. Everything begins with a vision. So you can join us in this business at cbdpsoil.com. And either myself or someone on our team will get in contact with you. And as always, in the comments below, we have a link to the transcriptions of today's transmission. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future uploads. And I'd like to welcome and thank all the new subscribers over the last 24 hours. It has been a real joy and pleasure to connect with all of you and experience your energy and your light through your connection and your comments. These helps myself and our team and the celestial, the star nations. Each one of us are a witness to our higher dimensional self that are on the ships now that are in the higher dimensions all the way to source. We are the eyes and the ears of the infinite and yourself as an infinite multi-dimensional being of light you exist already anywhere that you can imagine be it on a ship in 5d 12d a million d it doesn't matter you are infinite and multi-dimensional meaning you exist in all timelines all dimensions all realms and your consciousness is experiencing this reality this realm this story that's unfolding it's temporary story, but you, your true self, your awareness is infinite and multidimensional. So there is zero limitation and no separation in truth. So have a beautiful and blessed day, a beautiful meditation, 522-2020-2222 portal, an amazing and deep meditation. And I look forward to connecting with all of you. Keep walking your path with heart, powerful warrior of light. Rise up, speak out, and live from your heart. Christos, conscious beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.